Hi. Your daily reminder that Jesus is coming. Be ready. If you have dreams or visions, make sure you send them into the email in the description box. We love to have them. We have Facebook there. We have our Telegram channel. We have a Robert Breaker under there that breaks down the Bible on the chalkboard. Helps you out a whole lot with that. So make sure you check all that out. We remind you to read your Bible one or two hours a day. Make sure you do that. It's very important in these last days. Like I said, we don't have much more time left here. So you've got to be ready. This came in from Judy from the United States. She says, the dream was 30 years ago. I remember it vividly. It was a sunny day and I was hanging out. Uh, clothes. My former husband was there for some reason, along with children playing in the yard. I did not recognize the house. It was a two-story old farmhouse that needed paint. Out of nowhere came this roaring, rumbling thunder with dark clouds. My former husband was getting everyone in the house preparing for a storm. But I stayed at the clothesline staring, uh, star, uh, Start staring at the dark clouds and rumbling thunder so loud it was ear-piercing. A lot of people seeing the same things. This was almost 30 years ago. As the sky fell, there appeared to be two angels sounding trumpets. I would not look away as the sky began to scroll open. One angel on each side of what appeared to be a face of Jesus Christ and a big, beautiful, the entire universe could have seen it. A lot of people see his face in the clouds with this when it happens. But he did not say anything to me. The trumpets were still sounding when I woke up. Puzzled by the dream, I went to a minister, and she told me that Jesus came to me in a vision through a dream that I had described his second coming from Revelations. I had never seen Revelations, and at the time was not living by the Word of God. Since then, I have witnessed things that no one could imagine. I've had many encounters with angels and have saved my life and others. Thank you, Father, for never giving up on me. They will uh, be done, not mine. Thou will be done, not mine. In Jesus' name, amen. If you're lost out there and you just want to be in heaven and you don't want to go to hell, call upon Jesus right now. Like I said, time's running out. You've got to be ready in these last days. We don't have much more time. You have to be ready now because tomorrow's not, you don't know if you're going to have tomorrow. And when these events start to happen, a lot of people are going to be scared and frightened and a lot of bad things are going to start to happen. So be ready. Call up on him. If you believe that he died upon the cross for your past, present, and future sins, you have faith in Jesus. And though he rose up on that third day, you're saved and you're ready to go home. And we don't have much longer. And those of you that's been missing your loved ones, very soon we're going to see them again. This is a good time. This is a time to praise Jesus. Stay awake because our, the day of redemption is, <laughs> is close very close he's coming people these bad people are about to be washed off the earth real soon so be ready if you don't hear or see from me again i'll see you in heaven